Hello, good day, and welcome to Encouragement and Prayer Ministries. I want to thank you for watching the video, sharing the video with your family and your friends, so together we can be an encouragement to others, and together we can share the gospel. Today I'm reading from Psalm chapter 6, verse 2. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am languishing. Heal me, O Lord, for my bones are troubled. David was down and distraught because of his sin. He no longer wanted to be rebuked and disciplined by God. At this low point of his life, David had only one place to walk, and that was up to God. When we languish, it, we have weakness of body. In the weakness, it causes pain and other health problems. Body weakness can cause physical and mental fatigue. At least a difficulty to move. Lack of energy, muscle twist, twitching, cramps. Weakness is just an endless circle. Without doing anything, it becomes a circle that just spirals out of control. A soul becomes troubled. A spiritual being and a whole being, all of our body. We no longer know what to do. We do not know how to escape from the cycle. We become weary, exhausted in strength, expressions, in our patience, in tolerance, and pleasure. What started out in pleasure, sin, which was the pleasure of our heart's desire, is taking control of our lives. We lose the pleasure that we had. We cannot express ourselves because of our weakness. We no longer have tolerance and we lose patience. Our soul, all of our body, from inside out, becomes troubled. Then our body becomes weak, causing us pain and health problems. At this low point, we can look up to the Lord God to help us. Lift us up and heal us. Like the prodigal son's father, God the Father is looking for you to come crying back to Him. To pull you up, to restore your strength from the weakness that you're in. I know somebody right now is listening to this. They're in a weak point of their life. They don't know what to do. They do not know who to go to. But I know you can go to the Heavenly Father. He is waiting for you to ask for forgiveness, ask for healing, to restore your strength. Confess your sin against God and He will make you whole again, giving you a new life. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.
I would like to give you the opportunity today, if you believe that Jesus is the Son of God, that He died for your sins and rose from the grave three days after He was crucified, you can confess that you're a sinner and ask for forgiveness. And the Father who hears you in heaven will forgive you. I ask you just to repeat after me as I pray. Heavenly Father, I acknowledge that the separation between us is because of my sin. I confess that I have sinned and have fallen far short of your glory. I thank you that you sent your Son, Jesus, to pay the penalty for my sin. I believe that he died on the cross for me. I believe that you raised him from the dead. I am sorry for my sins, and I ask you to forgive and cleanse me. I want to turn away from everything the Bible calls sin and receive Jesus as my Lord, Master, and Savior. Help me to love, serve, and obey you for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now, if you prayed that prayer honestly, believing that Jesus will save you from your sins and cleanse you, Jesus now lives in you. He dwells within you. You need to learn how to know Jesus more, how to imitate Jesus' life. You need to read the Bible, study the Bible, pray, listen for God to answer your prayers, and to fellowship with other believers. Now I want to encourage you to do all of this, to live the life that we are supposed to live that is pure, holy, and sinless.